not see cichlids mating, I'm gonna hopefully show you right now. I got two males. Each of them have their own den, and each one of them are trying to court females into their dens. So this blue cobalt here, he's got a den. He'll go in and see right there where he went down. Then I got this guy here. He's trying to court a female down into his den. Check out the Cobalt Blues den. Little Cobalt Blue. Oh, there's an egg. Oh, sh shit. I've been in the wrong spot. There's Cobalt Blues den right there. Wow, he already had a female down here. That's what was going on. Cool, I'm gonna end up with some more cobalt blues. There she is, see? See how they're swirling around? See what'll happen if she'll drop down and lay eggs. Then what he does, he'll blow a sperm in her mouth, which fertilizes the eggs. See, did you see that egg just flop up? See, she missed it. See if they'll do it again. See? See the eggs fall out? There's an egg right there. Picked it up. She's trying to get it. Yeah, she just got it. All right, good. Let's see? Huh? Wow. Okay, she just came back. Her mouth is full of eggs. That's good. We'll get down there, stud, and do it. She's down there waiting. So she'll lay, she'll, okay, so he, she lays, she's laying eggs right now. And then when she comes to pick them up with the mouth, did you see her just scoop? See, now you got the other male coming in there trying to fertilize eggs, did you see that? All the little, like, dots on the ends of their tails represent eggs okay so when the male shakes and the female goes to pick more eggs up she thinks she's picking eggs up when it's actually the male's tail and that's when he sprays the sperm into her mouth at this point she will hold the eggs in her mouth and bounce them around for 18 to 30 days. Within that period, she won't eat. She will look to lose weight, but I have had some pretty good females that can actually take in some flake food and crunch it up. That's in the later development of the fry in her mouth. Embunas are mouth brooders, so they hold them eggs in their mouth. They call them zebra cichlids, red zebra, blue cobalt zebra. That's what these guys are. So in the past, I've let my females hold the eggs to full development and then spit the fry out. When I do that, I usually keep them in a breeding box when I did that. And what was happening to me is once they spit the fry out and the fry were free swimming, 
I take the female out of the box and put it back into the main tank, they'd reject her, kill her. So what I do now is I keep an eye on my females and once in a while you'll see their mouths open a little bit. If I start seeing eyeballs inside their mouths, that's an excellent indicator to let me know it's time to strip the fry from the female. So let's go ahead, check out a little bit of footage on how I do that and check out the development of the fry. Two of them. Two fish. Come on. Ooh. I got babies. Well, that's better right here. Got a whole lot of them. Get rid of them all. All right. Look at all of them. <laughs> look at all the babies. As you can see, the fry, they look a little bit round, kind of like a tadpole. But don't worry about it. That's their egg sac. And they'll live off that egg sac until they're fully developed. Their egg sac doesn't last long, neither. It's amazing how quick they grow. While the fry are safe in a breeding box, I do still offer them very, very small grains of flake food. And they usually will eat that flake food even though they do have their egg sac still. So at this point in this 20 gallon tank here, I've got inch to inch and a half juveniles in this tank. Then in the breeding box, I already have half inch to three quarter inch fry in there now. So now I'm going to have to take them, dump them into the 20 gallon to accommodate the new fry. But at this point I had to do what I had to do. I've got more fry in this Tupperware container than I do the breeding box. So let's go see how good these guys are actually doing. 